Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Planace and Travels. Today I'm doing a pin video where I'm showing a part of my collection. This is something that's near and dear to my heart because it's all about castles and that could be interpreted different ways. It could be Disney castles like this one, the Sleeping Beauty castle pin that I have right here that it's like an open edition pin, I believe. Um, actually it says on the back, it's from Pin Trading 2019, limited release. So it's a limited release pin. I forget where I get my pins half the time. Or maybe it meant like Harry Potter castles like this, like Hogwarts castle or like this one. But I'm not focusing on Harry Potter today. I'm actually gonna focus on the Disney, um, which is how this group kind of started with like Disney pins. And I was so excited for this theming. I actually just became a D23 gold member because their pin, um, well, I guess like their gift they give to you if you join gold is a castle set. And if you attended D23, there was a code um, that just ended up this past Sunday and um, the code was good for 50% off the regular gold duo membership but I was like oh my gosh I love the castle pin set. I'm sure if you haven't seen um, Lauren's video from Castle Capes and Clones he is a D23 gold member so I'm sure he probably showed that whole pin series because it was castles from the different Disney parks around the world as well as the Disney Cruise Line and I was like that sounds awesome so of course I joined. But at any rate this is part of the Celebrating Collection Peoples and Pins collaboration hosted by Val at Senior Family Adventures. A lot of people have already posted their videos but this is going to be my castle collection, most of my castle pins in one video. So if you're waiting to see what I have show to show you today then keep on watching. Please consider hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for joining my community and let's show you the pins. So this is my little castle display that I set up with my castle pin board. Um, the thing on the top kind of broke off, so I need to fix that. My husband said he could glue that for me back very soon because it broke off from being on display in the corner for a while. But this is, I'm actually filming my in my bathroom. I have like a shirt over there. But this is all my like castle prints I want to put in the back. Or not all of them, I actually have more. I have a Disneyland one too. But as you guys can see, I have a lot of castle artwork because castles are super important to me. I'm really into castles. I have a coll collectible Funko down there. I have this Disney castle uh, replica. And then I also just recently bought this. This is like a little like mermaid type of castle type of thing. That's a salt and pepper shaker. So I'm really into castles. So that's why this theme is really important to me. And I wanted to be part of it and showcase some of my favorite castle pins. This is a majority of my castle collection. I'm sure I'm, I'm missing something like always, but you guys can see I do have this nice pin board that I ordered a couple years ago um from a disney small shop and this is a a combination of all the castle pins that i put on here for you so that's an overview and i can kind of go like one by one i'll start in the bottom but uh this is actually not really castle related but it's epcot world showcase and it's a small shop it's grape soda pins i like this because um epcot does not have a castle as a centerpiece however all the different um pavilions represent the world and I really like that aspect. That's kind of what castles mean to me. That's why I included it on this board. It is an icon and replica for Epcot besides obviously the Spaceship Earth Ball. But I just love looking at all the different countries and pavilions. And I thought, you know what? It's important buildings that deserve to be represented on this castle pin board. So that's why it's here. It is one of two of the only World Showcase pins I have. The other one is this one, which is an annual pass holder from 2018. Um, pin from Epcot and you guys can see that the World Showcase represents the background of the top of this pin when you open it up it's just figment it's figment with some cheese and grapes so super fun and cute for a foodie person this is from the Epcot Epcot Food and Wine Festival but those are the two non-castle related pins I guess on this board but I have a 2018 Walt Disney World Open Edition pin down there this is the very first pin I ever got I was gifted this from the Grand Floridian when I stayed there um, a number of years ago, maybe 2018 or so, 2017, and it says Walt Disney World, and it has like a bling bling effect. So I've kept that. That's what got me into pins. I was like, oh, pins can be pretty. I've got Little Mermaid right here. You can see his, her, um, un, her castle. That was an open edition pin from the parks. I have this official autograph uh, book uh, pin, and you can see the castle is back there, of, of, along with the other icons from Walt Disney World, and I love this has a pen included. I have this Acme pen, and it is the Under the Sea Castle. I love Ariel's Under the Sea Castle, and I love the glistening on her her fin, so that's here. I have a couple more Little Mermaid pins, including this one, which is the VHS. Um, you can see the Under the Sea Castle right there with Triton and Ursula. This is from my Ursula pin board. I moved this over temporarily, but it has the VHS on the inside and Flounder. But the main reason it's included is because it has the Under the Sea 
castle. I have Eric's Prince Eric's castle from The Little Mermaid here. This is another small shop pin. This is from Disney Chris. And then I have another Disney Chris pin right above that. And it's the Under the Sea castle. So you guys can see that she did a castle series and I had to get both my hands on both Little Mermaid ones because I absolutely love it. I love the Under the Sea life. I love the colors. These are fantasy pins. And sometimes fantasy pins are even better than regular pins because they're huge and gorgeous. And then I have a Magic Kingdom pin right above that. That is from the Starbucks series that came out for the 50th. I have all four of those, and I also have the individual Disneyland ones and Magic Kingdom ones, but at any rate, this is a small shop pin, also from Grape Soda Pin Club, and or Grape Soda Club, excuse me, they're two different things, and it's a little uh, Polaroid with the castle that pops out when you slide it out, so I love that little effect. I ordered it in purple, came in different colors. This is a Disney Home pin that was part of a park set. Whoops. Um, but I love that it has the castle here as well. And it says home because Disney does feel like my home. I love it there. I've always been happy. Oh, I lied. This is not a castle pin, but it is the iconic castle type of uh, icon for what used to be Magic Kingdom. It says 1989 is when it opened and now it's Hollywood Studios. And because this was a replica that was like the forefront of that park for so many years, I decided to include that. I have a balloon pin and it has a castle underneath that keychain element. This is also from Grape Soda Club. I had a lot of small shop pins from them for a while. I have the Cinderella cake type pin with the castle icons here and the clock tower. The clock from Cinderella included that. I have another cake pin here. Uh, this is from the Loungefly series. This is from a small shop. Um, let's see what else I have on this side. This one is the icon of the castle behind Walt's statue, and then you also have the characters and they're having treats and taking a picture and holding a Mickey balloon. So that's always super fun. That's an open edition pin from the park. I have this old Cinderella pin that I got from trading and I love it. it says Disneyland and it, it's pin on pin. And you guys can see it's got the Sleeping Beauty castle behind her, even though it's Cinderella. I have another pin like that, a family pin gathering from 2004. It's got the castle behind Cinderella and her, her valet. <laughs> type of character. And then I've got this Magic Kingdom with the castle. It's an open edition pin from the parks. I have this little locket pin. It says Walt Disney World and it has the undersea castle from Little Mermaid again. It opens up to reveal Ariel on the inside. You guys can see her in her pink dress, but I love it for the castle aspect. I believe I got that from a trade or small uh, pin sale or something. I don't remember exactly the origin of that one. I have this Magic Kingdom pin. It's a welcome sign. It has a castle icon in the center, which is why it's on this board. This is what you see in front of the castle. It is the sword in the stone. And I love the sword in the stone, so that is on here as well. This is a pin from Box Lunch. Um, lounge Fly, it is lenticular, so it will move when you move it different directions. But that is Aurora in front of her castle, Sleeping Beauty Castle. This is Arendelle Castle from a Frozen pin set that I had. This is a Happy Valentine's Day pin from this year, and it has Cinderella and Prince Charming with the castle in the background, and of course the birds holding up the ribbon. I love that. I have this iconic Mickey, Tokyo Disney, all kinds of Disneyland parks um, icons, and it does have a castle, so that's why it's on this board. I just love this print, and I love seeing the different parks represented. I have this Night and Day pin that I got from Bindi Mouse Shop a couple years back. They're another small shop, and you can see it has the castle in the nighttime with the moon and then the castle during the daytime. I just love that effect of the two double pins in one. I just love things like that in general. I have this Disneyland open edition pin that was given to uh, people as they stay in the Disneyland resort. I have this Hidden Mickey castle pin. You guys can see a little Hidden Mickey icon on the top and little star. Walk in Walt's footsteps um, pin. This was a tour that you could take at Disneyland and it's such an iconic tour and you can see Walt is walking under the castle gate um, and I, that's why this is on here because the inside is the plaque and has the other uh, Mickey. Um, it has a partner statue and the plaque um, to all the and to this happy place welcome but the reason I included it is because the drawbridge. I mean I love this picture of Walt just coming from below the castle. I have a Cogsworth pin here because this is from Beauty and the Beast castle so I had to represent that. That's from Beauty and the Beast uh, mystery collection. This is another Sword in the Stone pin when um, King Arthur is finally being crowned at the castle. This is another Sword in the Stone pin, and you can see it's a little sword icon there, and that's Merlin as a crab. And this actually is a WDI pin. It says, uh, Sword in the Stone Wizard Duel, Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive. This is an Ellie size of 250, and I just love 
WDI pins. They're really nice quality, always well made. I have this 2019 Sleeping Beauty pin. I have this Walt Disney Travel Company pin. Same idea with the Sleeping Beauty Castle. I have this hinge pin with the Sleeping Beauty Castle. Gorgeous. This is an open edition pin sold in both parks. And on the inside, it has Walt himself and his quote is kind of fun to do the impossible and the signature. Love that. I have a Club 33 pin just because that is such an iconic part of Disneyland. If you don't know what that is, that's the exclusive members club. You have to know someone who's a member to go inside of it. And that's within Disneyland Resort. Um, and this is the open edition pin. This is a Disneyland home pin, also from a park set, but that's the Sleeping Beauty version. This is the Walt Disney version, Walt Disney World. So I have both parks. I have another home castle icon. I'm really into the home idea. I have Merida's Castle from the Castle series. I have this Disneyland Resort open edition pin. And I think I showed you this one, but if not, I also have this one with Donald and Daisy open edition pin. And this one is like a, uh, this is from the Disneyland 60th celebration. You can see there's 60 in the front. It says Disneyland diamond celebration. And there are actual diamonds on the inside of this beautiful pin. And then that just leaves me with the bigger pins um, in general. I have this one. This is a Arendelle Castle pin from Disney Chris. Once again, the lighting on this one is a little bit more duller than I thought it was going to be from the pictures, but it's a very nicely made pin. I just wish it lit up a little bit more and caught the light, but gorgeous from her home series in LE 75. I have this from the Disney um, Shop Disney um, Park series. I have Aladdin. I used to at one point have all the castles except for the last two and I decided to sell them or trade them off because I didn't need them so I just kept the ones that meant something to me. I love Aladdin that sit inside has his interior of the castle and this is what the Sultan's Palace looks like. I have the Mulan Castle one and this is gorgeous um, from obviously from China and I love this particular like icon because I love Mulan. That's usually part of my Mulan pin board and then I have this one which is the original Cinderella's Castle that's what the inside looks like. It goes for a lot if you try to resell it, but I'm like, no, this is part of my castle pin board. And then finally, I have another sword in the stone pin. That's where he is first raising the sword from the stone, 55th anniversary pin. I have this pin with Mickey Mouse standing in front of the castle. This came out, I believe, a year or two ago. I'm losing track. And then I have up here, and this is a lounge fly pin showing Sultan's Palace, and it is a sliding pin, so... The magic carpet will slide across with Jasmine and Aladdin. That's a close-up of that one. It came in a nice big box. And up top, there's another sword in the stone pin where he's pulling the sword out of the stone. This is the last one I didn't do. This is from the 50th collection. There were four pins in this series. I have all four, but this is the one that fingers, features Tinkerbell in front of the castle with the 50th icon in front. So super, super pretty. And that is my castle pin board. I have a couple more pins in kind of, this is like my trader's book, but... I'll show you what I have. I have the Sleeping Beauty. This is a DSSH pin. It was released for the 60th anniversary, and you can see it has the castle. Prince, um, Prince Philip and Aurora are in front of it. It's a beautiful pin. Her dress is pink and blue, so I keep that here. It is a limited edition pin. So within the same series, I have this Aladdin pin. You can see the Sultan's Palace. Aladdin and Jasmine are on a canal boat. That was a, another DSSH. Uh, this is a, sorry, this is a Walt Disney Imagineering pin that came out. They did a whole series of characters on a canal boat. This is a pin that my friend got for me. I just put that in there temporarily, but it's not for trade. So I need to move that back to my book. I just ran out of my, I ran out of space in my Cinderella pin board. So I need to find a home for this, but you can see it has Cinderella's castle behind her. This is a nice, beautiful bubble pin. You've got the carriage, um, the horseman. I just love all the detail on this. And this was a Disney employee center pin, um, only limited to cast members to get it. Limited edition of 250 and my cast member friend, very thankfully got this for me. I really appreciate it because he knows I love Cinderella. And then I also have this Sleeping Beauty 60th version. They're dancing right there. Um, I could show all my Windows of Magic pins because they're all kind of castle-like with the stained glass window, but I'm not going to do that this time. However, I do have this The Magic is Back pin that came out for Disneyland Resort. Like when it finally reopened after being closed with the pandemic, these pins were released. And so I do have the castle there in different colors. It's very like majestic and celebratory and that is also part of this little pin book that I have here. Then I have this Disney Rewards 2019 pin of Mickey in front of the castle, Theme View Castle. So that was also released to Disney Rewards uh, Visa holders. This Tiana open edition pin with her in front of a castle and her castle is painted purple for Tiana's colors. And this book is more of my more permanent collection. So I have pins all over the place, but you can see I have this Hong Kong Disneyland one of Princess Jasmine in front of the castle from Hong Kong with the, um, it's like the icons of her dress there's a boo it's a really really pretty pin and she's holding the magic lamp 
I have this Agrabah pin, visit Agrabah. It's got the Sultan's Palace right there. This is from the Castle um, Mystery set, I believe from Hot Topic or so, but it's a gorgeous Sultan's Palace castle. The color is a little off because it's orange, but I still like it a lot because you very rarely see this castle depicted in pin form. Then I have another castle pin here from Pin Bake Shop. I have a couple of her pins, but I love this castle icon here from the Sultan's Palace. Another Sultan's Palace pin down here that I got from Fry, um, Fry Pins live sale. This large Acme pin that I got from Enchanted Rita and it has Sultan's Palace behind Jasmine. This Disney Hugs pin with uh, Baby Raja and Jasmine in front of the castle icon. And over here the Sultan's Palace once again and this is another mystery series from the parks and I love that it has Aladdin and Abu. Then I have a lot of Christmas pins and you guys can see there's a castle right here in this Christmas pin that's a countdown pin. Um, I have a it's a small world version in gingerbread kind of a castle gingerbread iconic castle right here. Um, different castle, different castle icons. It's part of my Christmas pin board. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link the video up above because I show those in more detail. The gingerbread icon castle right there. Gingerbread castle with um, uh, Gus Gus. Kind of like a fun little gingerbread play. And this Grand Floridian postcard type of castle pin has a gingerbread castle with Aurora. So it's bringing in the Mary, which I love. And finally, to close it out, I have this Contemporary Resort pin. You can see it says 2019, 10th anniversary. And when you open it up, it features the Fairy Godmother with a gingerbread castle. So those are all my castle pins. I wanted just to show most of them, not all of them. I'm sure I should say all. I'm sure I forgot a couple, but I have quite a big castle collection. I love castle type of pins. Even like these Christmas trees are kind of like forming a castle in a way, but that is my castle collection. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments below. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you guys so much. Hope you're having a wonderful day, week, whatever it is that you have in store for you. And I hope to talk to you very, very soon. I'm actually working on my D23 vlog. So that'll be my haul and you guys can see that coming up soon. Um, I'm just behind on editing videos, but I hope to get that up in the next a couple of days this week as well. But Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.